Yo, what's up guys? Uh, it's longest time here and it just started here once again and in this video I'll be showing you um, how to buy console accounts and also a lot of people are having problem with verifying their phone number. In this video also, I will show you how I'm doing mine and also if you want to do yours like that, you can drop me a message on WhatsApp and we can discuss. So now, let's go. So the, um, this console account, I'm actually getting it for a client of mine person also message me i guess from youtube channel here yeah. and um if you want to buy a google play console account when you go to your chrome you type google play console you see this sign up and you click on google play console account so it carry you to this page number one it can also bring you to where you will put um um they will tell you that you should own your two-step verification so it will carry you to the place so um once you're done with that once you own your two-step verification so it will carry you to this page now here yeah, you can see this organization account now on the organization account you can do you can open a an, a company or business account a non-profit account a government organization account and also an educational institution account on google play console likewise you can create for yourself so please if you are creating also account create for yourself but organization accounts require a lot of verification process which you might not have everything you need to verify the accounts when individual accounts you can only verify it with your um, proof of address and also your id card but note google doesn't accept nin google doesn't accept nin what google accept is either international passport or driver license with uh, with proof of address which is either bank statement so uh, if you don't have any of this and you want to buy your console account i will tell you to proceed you can drop me a message on whatsapp i will help you out uh in verifying the account do it will cost you some money so now let's uh, proceed you click on get started and click on yourself don't open an organization account if you don't have everything necessary in opening it so click on yourself that is individual account and click on continue so that we ask for the developer name so you put your developer name here so you put your developer name on this page so the developer name will be I'm opening for you. I'm just Uber Tech. So now the next thing for you to do here is to create a payment profile. That's the next thing for you to do here. Creating a payment profile. So click on create or select payment profile. So you can see this is a payment profile that the person have created before. So let me see. I, I'm not seeing the address there, but so I can create a new payment profile because I don't know the address the person put there. So I want to put a new address and also teach you how you can put address if you don't want to put your main address on the console account. So um, you click on Nigeria as a country, put the full name, which I'm putting the, pay, the owner of the account name. So street address. On this street address, it will be needed when you want to verify your console account. When you finish processing it and you want to verify the console account. So you can write to something like 04. If you bring it, you pop out. Okay, you, say, you can see what I'm saying. Now. If you pop out any address out, you get me. So let me just choose this 04 Prince Chukudi Ani Street, Lagos. You can change this place now to something like Aja, Lagos. Or you could do the city. You automatically Lagos. Though this person is not in Lagos, I'm just using this address. And it doesn't mean anything. So click on next and click on continue so you can see the address that you see now which is number four Prince Chuku district so now let's continue and you can see the name here which is um, which name is Chidiebere Uba that's the name there Okay, so let's click on next. All right, this next now they will request for the email address. They request for the email address of this person. So for you to get your email, you will have to use the same email you put here, yeah, like the same email you're using to put in and uh, using for your console account, which is this email up here. You can see this email up here. So I'm copying it here and pasting it. At
how you will know that is the same email is because of once you click on verify email it will automatically verify but if it's not the same email it will be requesting for otp to the other email you put though it's still fine but no you can use the normal the same email that you used to buy the consumer account so it's more better so you click on next they will ask to give them an experience like your an experience using play console any app that you have built manage or publish and other, other, other stuff so you can just say you are a newbie That's what I wrote here. I'm a new Java and Kotlin developer. So they will ask you if you use this email um, to require uh, to receive um, access to another person console account before lately, which is no. You choose no, and they can ask you for your website or the share media and do click on no. You don't have. And if you want to put yours, it's still fine. So click on next. Yeah, now they will ask for the number of apps you are going to you are going to upload in the next one year. So click on that's in the next twelve months. That's one year. You click on any any amount of app you, you want to use. So you want to upload and also earning money through Google Play. So they will ask you how do you want to earn money via the app you want to upload on Google Play console. If you are any money via um, so like they ask you now do you want to make money? through the apps you are using so you click on yes then now it's asking you how do you plan to earn money so let's all that apply so uh you can earn money via ads that's google ad move or um approving start ads everything if you want to integrate any of this inside your app uh, i can also build an app for you which i will integrate ad move into it and also operate on google play store where coded app not um app from a website or anything so now um you can click in app purchase if you need in app purchase inside your app i can also provide that for you and subscription likewise paid apps you can choose anyone so and they will ask you uh do you plan to publish any of this app on play store election news app personal loan app pre money gambling app and other stuff so you can click on none of the above and select next so now they ask for the contact contact name which is the person name that is uh that is chidebere okay so that's the name and also the email address at gmail that's com and also they will ask you for your preferred language, which is English. And also phone number, which is the area is what people are having issue with every time. So mm -hmm. let me check something here first. Plus two three four. So and click on verify. Luckily, his phone number worked for it. Oh, luckily, his phone number worked for it. So let me let me pause this video and ask him for the OTP and explain what you can do if yours doesn't work. All right, so I've gotten the OTP from my client, and the OTP is zero seven nine seven nine five all right so um if you put your phone number your phone number is not very fine and you try it again try it again it's not very fine you can message me i will tell you what to do and it will be done which is you can put i will give you a phone number that you're going to put which will work out 100 percent so that's it but luckily his phone number went for it so let's go so you accept the terms and condition. So the terms and condition and click on create and pay. Create account and pay. So now here I'm going to make the payment. Which what you're going to be putting is the card details and everything. The address that we put on the payment profile, it should be the same address we'll be putting here. So let me minimize this um 
let me put the card details on and come back all right i'll put the card details now so i click on save card now once you put, once you put your card details you click on save card so click on um buy so now we've successfully purchased the console account you can see just easy and fast you get me we have successfully con uh, uh created the console account i'm talking about the verification i will do a separate video on how you can verify your console account in case you need to verify your console account so i will also explain what and what you needed to get so thanks for watching this video once again if you like this video please kindly subscribe to this channel follow me for more tips uh, about google admo google play console and more stuff so and note that google also have already updated their policy whereby you need 20 testers in order for you to uh in order for you to publish your app on google play store i will still talk more about that anytime soon so have a blessed time guys bye Thank mm -hmm. you.